Smoking is hateful to the nose, harmful to the brain, and dangerous to the lungs. This is a quote by King James I. And I agree very passionately with this quote for many different reasons. And uh, if you've ever been around cigarettes or know someone who smokes cigarettes, I'm sure that you do too. Uh, it's hard to be around, and it's really sad because there's so many smokers in the United States. So according to the CDC, 15 of every 100 adults uh, smoke in the United States. And uh, this doesn't seem like much, but that actually translates to about 36.5 million people. Um, and 75% of those people say that they smoke daily. And this is only a statistic for people above the age of 18, but as you all know, there is smoking that goes on um, with people who are under the age of 18, especially in high schools and, and things like that. So this is a, uh, a trend I found on the CDC website, which shows the, uh, the trend of teen smokers. As you can see, it has declined since 1965. Um, but still, it's, you can't really see it, but it says 15.7% of high school students still uh, smoke cigarettes in high school, and that's pretty amazing to me because that's still a very high number considering how many uh, students there are in the United States. So, uh, according to the CDC again, uh, smoking is the leading cause of preventable death and disease in the United States. And uh, it actually costs the United States uh, over $300 billion each year just in medical fees for um, injuries or any illnesses related to smoking. And it has declined since 2005, just like uh, the trend of teen smoking, but still, it's not at a good number. So there's three types of uh, smoking that affects you. There's first-hand smoke, second-hand smoke, and then a lesser-known third-hand smoke. First-hand smoke is inhaled by the smoker and requires um, direct use of a cigarette or a cigar or anything you can smoke, really. And then um, there's second-hand smoke. Uh, this is arguably the most dangerous type because it not only affects you, the, or the smoker, but also the um, people around you. And um, so there's a, it's also known as environmental tobacco smoke, or ETS. And there are two types of this. There's mainstream smoke and sidestream smoke. Uh, mainstream smoke refers to smoke inhaled and then exhaled. And then while sidestream smoke uh, refers to the smoke that wafts off the end of a cigarette. Kind of like that stuff right there. And um, that is what accounts for over 80% of the smoky smell in a smoke-filled room. So like if you were to go to a casino or a bar and you, you get that sense of like people are smoking in here. That's the side stream smoke. And then the uh, lesser known third hand smoke is uh, basically just residual uh, nicotine buildups. So you, you can't really see in this picture but uh, you can see that there's like nicotine buildup in this house so this was obviously a household filled with a smoking family. And then this is where um, pictures were and you can see that the, it's like a white wall, and then the, the residue just turned it completely yellow and gross. It also um, reacts with other elements in the air, which uh, eventually causes pollution, which is not good. So what's in a cigarette? Um, the reason that the residue builds up is because there's over 4,000 chemicals alone in a cigarette, and of those 4,000, about 43 are uh, carcinogens, which means they're cancerous or cancer-causing. So I have a picture here. This just shows you some of the chemicals that are in cigarettes. As you can see, there's carbon monoxide, um, uh, ammonia, which is used for floor cleaner, um, methanol, rocket fuel, or DDT, which is an insect killer. So it's all stuff that you really don't want to inhale, yet um, people seem to do it all the time for some reason. So, some diseases caused by smoking, I have a little diagram here. So, first there's bronchitis, which is um, like a smoker's cough. Uh, this is from the inflammation of the mucous membrane in the bronchial tubes. This is caused by the smoke of the cigarette. Then there's emphysema, which is a condition in which the air sacs of the lungs are damaged or enlarged. And this leads to like breathlessness. 
And then, of course, there's cancer of the lung. Um, this is the uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells that start off in one lung or two lungs. And the cells develop into, they don't develop into a healthy lung tissue. And um, they divide rapidly, which form tumors. And um, this, that's actually one of the deadliest types of cancers, but it's also, that's kind of crazy because it's actually the most preventable type of cancer. And then, of course, there's heart attack. Um, heart attack is a sudden and sometimes fatal occurrence of coronial, coronial, coronial thrombrosis. Uh, before the age of 50, smokers have a three times more likelihood of getting a heart attack than non-smokers. And then, of course, there's burns. Uh, that can happen if there's somebody with a cigarette who's you know, being careless, accidentally burn themselves or burn someone around them. There's peptic ulcers, which is an open sore in the lining of the stomach. Um, and uh, the nicotine from cigarettes increases the secretion of the hyd hydrochloric acid and slows the healing. And strokes. Strokes are caused by the bleeding or clotting in the brain. Smoking causes an increase in strokes due to the uh, association of the hardening of the arteries and uh, high blood pressure. And then there's cancer of the urinary bladder. This occurs because the cancerous materials uh, in cigarettes have to have a, a way out, and that's through the urinary tract. So, like through urine and pee. And then I have this little diagram that shows what like a smoker's mouth looks like. You can see pretty ugly, black, nasty, and like receding gum lines. It's just not, not good there. So, if you're looking to quit smoking, or if you know someone who's looking to quit smoking, there's many ways to do it. There's um, behavioral therapy, so you find like a, a therapist that'll help you work through uh, your addiction. You can find medication from doctors, or you can do a simple nicotine replacement which is like um, nicotine patches, gums, or even vaping. <laughs> or you can do a combo treatment, which is the mixture of all of those. So there's obviously benefits to not smoking. You avoid all of these diseases, or at least have a less chance of getting them. And um, if you are a smoker, though, and you want to quit, there are benefits to that. After 20 minutes of quitting smoking, your blood pressure returns to normal. After just 24 hours, the risk of heart failure decreases. Uh, three days, a, your sense of smell and taste come back to normal. And after three months, your breathing problems go away. So that's like that smoker's cough. You start to get that normal breathing pattern back. And then after one year, your risk of heart disease uh, decreases by over 50%. So you're 50% less than that of a smoker, which is, which is pretty crazy. So. So, um, cigarettes are nothing but bad for you and people around you. Uh, I urge all of you to stay away from them and to be an advocate against smoking and uh, to not give in to the peer pressure of people around you trying to get you to smoke. Nice. Questions? So, smoking 